What's up y'all and welcome to my channel, Larry Vanessa, where I talk about nursing, natural health, and beauty. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how I make an alkaline kale tonic. This is a delicious drink, only use ingredients from Dr. Sabi's nutritional guide. So this drink is completely alkaline. Everything that is put into this drink is going to be very beneficial for your body. It's gonna give you energy, it's going to alkalize your body, it's going to help with any digestive issues that you have like gas, bloating, constipation. It is also going to clear your skin, it's gonna help your hair grow, it's gonna strengthen your nails, which is a really good thing. It's gonna help you lose weight as well, improve your mood, and it's just a really, really good drink that I have started drinking, especially on the days where I have to work 12 hour shifts. I just drink this in the morning and it replaced my coffee. I no longer drink coffee anymore. Also, this is something that you can drink after you work out, before you work out, just something like a good pick-me-up and a good boost. So let's get into the video and I'm going to be showing you exactly how I prepared this drink. It's very easy to make and yeah, so let's get into the video. I highly recommend if you are going to be starting juicing that you invest in a Bella Pro Series juicer. This juicer I purchased online and I'm going to leave the link down in the description box. But I purchased this because I really wanted to start drinking my vegetables, um, really switching it up. A lot of times when you transition over into a new diet or a new lifestyle, you kind of get bored with eating the same thing the same way. So I wanted to find a different way to take in my fruits and vegetables. A different creative way and I said you know let me start juicing because I don't always have to eat salads I don't always have to eat my vegetables sauteed or you know raw like I wanted a natural and different way to take in my vegetables and my fruits and still get all the same benefits the really good thing about this juicer is that it peels the vegetables and the fruits for you so all I have to do is literally like for example if I want to you know juice an apple all I have to do is cut the apple into these squares pop it in the juicer and it extracts the juice from the apple and I don't have to actually sit and peel everything the difference with a juicer and a, and a blender is that with the juicer you can make juices if you wanted to use your blender to make juice, which you could, um, you would have to peel every single fruit or vegetable that you use and then you add water. So I'll probably show you in another video how you can make juice with your blender. But if you want just a quick way to make juice, um, invest in a juicer. All right, so for this recipe, I went ahead and cut two cucumbers then i have two key limes right here i cut one red apple i have two cups a little over two cups of kale leaves and i also have sea moss i'm going to be using one to two teaspoons of sea moss i also cut a piece of ginger so let me show you exactly how i'm going to put everything from here into this juicer and we're gonna make this beautiful green drink. So you're gonna start off by filling your juicer with all of the fruit and the vegetables that you've pre-cut or that can easily fit into that space right there. Once you feel like it's full, you can go ahead and turn your juicer on and use the plunger to move the fruits and the vegetables down. Once all of those vegetables have juiced down, what you'll want to do is turn the juicer off and then start the process over again by refilling the canister or that um, space inside you want to fill it up all over again and then when it's filled to the rim then you start the juicer on again and 
press down and juice the remaining of those vegetables. Once all your fruit and vegetables have been juiced down, you can turn the juicer off and at this point you can add your one to two teaspoons of sea moss. Go ahead and stir the sea moss into the juice. Stir it as many times as you need to to make sure that it thoroughly blends and that it mixes well. And this is the final result. So as you can see, that's all of the skin that the juicer was able to extract off of the vegetable and the fruit. And if you can see on the right, this recipe made 700 milliliters of juice which is equivalent to about three cups of juice. So it did produce a really good amount. All right, y'all, so you saw the whole process from start to finish of how you can make this green juice using the Bella juicer. Um, I am going to try this and see how it comes out, but first um, let me pour majority of this into a container. And it's that nice green rich color. Now I prefer to drink this when it's cold. So what you'll do is you'll wanna store it in a glass container um, with a lid on top and you just wanna refrigerate it for a few hours until it gets to a temperature that you like. Now the really good thing about this juice is that it's all natural ingredients. So for this recipe, we use two cucumbers, about six to seven kale leaves, which yielded to about a little over two cups of kale. I also used one red apple, a piece of ginger, and two key limes. And I also added one to two teaspoons of sea moss. So this is what it yielded, which is a pretty good amount considering that I didn't add any additional water. So all of this fluid is from the fruit and vegetables that we use today. Um, this totaled out to 700 milliliters, which is the same as just about three cups. So it's a pretty good serving. So if you want it to juice for the next three days and just drink this in the morning, this would be about how much that you'll get back. And it's a beautiful green color. So let's try it out. It is very, um, very green. Okay, very healthy, very green. You do taste that hint of lime and that hint of ginger. And I think the cucumber just balances it out and adds that extra, like it doesn't, it balances out the kale and doesn't make the kale as strong. Okay, and if you're somebody that is just starting out and you want to use something to make it sweet, to keep it alkaline still, you can use either agave syrup or you can use some dates, okay? The agave syrup is probably a bit easier because you can just add like a teaspoon to the drink and you'll be good to go. 
the dates you would have to like mash it down and everything like that it's a little bit more complicated apple and the cucumber made it sweet for me so because i've been juicing for a bit um i don't really need to add any sweetener but if you're just starting off um the safest thing that you can use to maintain the alkalinity of the green juice would be agave syrup okay another thing i also want to mention that the key limes let me show y'all something so the only limes that are a part of dr sadie's nutritional guide are the key limes and i got this bag of key limes from my local grocery store at publix they sell this bag i think for 3.99 but you get a lot of key limes and key limes are very tiny okay they're really really small but they produce a lot of juice and they're they're completely alkaline so key limes as opposed to the large limes these are better to use and they're completely alkaline regular limes are not alkaline lemons are not alkaline if you want to stay alkaline you definitely want to see if you could find a bag of these key limes okay so that is all i have for you guys i hope you found this tutorial helpful on how you can make an alkaline kale tonic at home if you have any questions you can leave it down below and i hope you like this video i'll see you next time bye